this is the progress so far on the the old um, what's it called green man. So that's how much I've done of it. And these two pieces here is what Millie and Jess are doing, so I've got to leave them alone. And I've got that bit to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn, flip it round, and then show you how I repair. Because I've got rivers and creases in it, so I'll show you then how I'm going to, how I repaired all this bit of the canvas. Because I've been doing it as I go along. So hang on, I'll put you up, and then we'll get started. Right, I thought I'd better show you the puckers and dents and wrinkles and things first. So that's my little box of all my bags with all my drills in. That's my little pencil case with all my little tools in. That's all the ones I'm using at the moment. Right, can you see? Now this canvas didn't have, I don't think, hardly anything. See the dips there? See them here, if you look, if I turn it to the light. And right across here, I turn it to the light, so there's that in there. And then I've got one that's going across here. And I don't think, I don't know if I can pick the ones up. There's one here and some up there. I'm going to turn it to the light a bit. You can just about see it, see them. And if I, you can see the dent in the paper up here. I've done it so far but not all the way across and there's a little one here as well and one down here it's hard to get the light on it oh there you can see that one down the bottom and you can see the creases at the top there so that's what we're gonna flatten no one's there luck one going down the middle so we're gonna flatten them out So I thought I'd show you how I do it. I'm going to set this up on a, what's it called? A tripod. And then we'll go from there. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, my lovelies, I'm going to stand up. I do apologise so I can get the camera. And now I haven't got a tripod. I got my bendy wiry thing that the phone fits into that broke and is held together with elastic bands. Yes, I do live the high life with my equipment, don't I? <laughs> Uh, but yeah it's better than a webcam so I'm not complaining so I'm going to do this one here these little ones in here I have started them these here and along there so I'm going to put some this is just parchment paper or baking paper I'm just going to put that on there so I can I've got something to lean on right so all I've got is um we call them Stanley knives. Um, exacto knives, is that what you call them? Some people call them. Stanley knife, I call it anyway. But all I'm going to do is literally get it and score down the middle where there's a bubble. And then see these little lines here? All I'm going to do is do little tiny cuts. We can do big cuts, it doesn't really matter. And that will take the air out of the way that crease is and it will help me flatten it out. So all I'm doing is just scoring through the, if you, can, can you hear it? I'm not going right through the canvas, only through that glue. It's stuck up and I've got all creased. Don't worry if your hand sticks on there like mine is. It won't do it any harm. So I'm just going to score through these little ones up here. Oh, I've done that one up there. I must have missed that one there. So I'm just going to put a few extra done that bit. So just these little ones here. No, that's not one. Yeah. You can hear me going through it. I mean, I suppose you could go along the bubble there. That one, but I'm not very good at that. It's too precise for me. I have to do it this way. And see this one, it's got it's it's fairly flat in the middle, but I've got creases there and creases there, and then creases there. See them? 
so I'm just going to cut through the creases. Doesn't matter if you can, you can go right across the whole lot if you want to, whichever's easiest to eat, way for you. And don't take my word for doing this, there's loads and loads of tutorials on, on YouTube for this, but I just thought I would show you me doing it. Because if I can do this and repair a canvas, anybody can. Because I showed you in the clip before how much I've done and I've had no no issues at all of it of these of the drills coming off or sliding or not or being raised or anything and this is all I've done and I, I tell you what I had loads didn't I I made a white ash of it when I rolled it back up with that white cover but you live and learn but I was determined that I was going to save this canvas because it's for the old hubby and I am loving how it comes you can hear it going through the bubble and you can feel where your bubbles are you just run your finger lightly don't press hard just lightly and you can feel where the ridges are on it as well and then all I go is to smooth it down you can use your good old pink one will do or if you've got one that's a bit more sturdy like I've got off Rachel Ray in case you but I'll use a pink one in case you haven't got one off Rachel so that was a bit thing and all I do is flatten it with a metal end all I'm doing is flattening them creases and you know if you've flattened them because all you've got to do is run your finger over it that's my hand sticking to it yeah it's flat now you can you'll still see that where it was but now it's flat so you can put your drills on so we'll do this one up here do this one down here it's time consuming you know and I mean, if, if if this came in the state of this, I would have could have complained in because you don't really want to be spending all the time repairing a canvas. But it's because I've done it, somehow the way I, I rolled it or put the white plastic on, I don't know how the heck I did it, but however I did it, it wasn't like this when I first unravelled it. So I know it's down to me, not the company. So it's down to me to either get rid of it and start again or repair it well when you haven't got a lot of money and you you know you have to save up every week to get these bits and pieces because I don't drink don't smoke don't do inhalers or anything so this is my bit of money that I have goes all towards diamond painting or craft stuff so yeah where did I find this one a bit there. Yeah, that's all smooth. So that one's done. That one there. Now, so you can see a little raise there, but that that's not even stuck up. Or oh, that one. So they're all right. Just put that there. I've got a little one up there, so can so I move you across? Oops, sorry. Just press the off button there. So I'm just going to do the same again. Oh, I've got another piece of... Just put that there a minute. I can see a few bubbles in there that I've obviously missed. Now don't worry, because I've put the, the things there, so I'm just going to score around it. It obviously didn't bother me when I did it the other way around because they they haven't, you can see they've not raised. That one slid a little bit. So I'll just move him out of the way. And I'll just flatten it down. And if it's raised, nope, nothing's raised. I'll just 
just move that one back up into place. See, it's stuck well. There you go. And that's that one done. That one there, and the little one there. I'm going to hopefully be starting this section later. <coughs> Sorry, I've just knocked the camera. I do apologise. It's a trouble when you've got one of these things that attach to the table. So I've got one here and I've got that big, huge, long one there, if you remember. So again, I'm just going to score. You'd be surprised how, how hard you can sort of press your, your blade before it actually goes through anything. I've not cut through a canvas yet. Doesn't mean that I probably won't, but I haven't at the moment. As I say, I just do little cuts because I find it easier and on some I do big cuts. But you will find that you'll adjust to how you like to do it. I'm not saying this will work on every canvas or every bubble or every crease or, you know, but it's worth having a go and saving it, especially if you like the picture and it's for somebody. You have to excuse me, the concentration. a pancake. Yep, flat. I don't know whether I'll get this one completely flat because it's quite a big bubble but we will try our best. By just scraping it just and cutting it, you've just got some of the air to, to escape to, if you know what I mean. And as I say, I like things that are simple. I can't grasp things that are difficult. My little brain doesn't comprehend it all. So as I'm saying, if I can just do this... As I say, go like that. Yep, and that's flat apart from a little bit there. Yep, and the last bit. There you go, so the whole canvas is now repaired. So I'm ready to rock and roll. So what I'll do, shall I get some, so you can see me stick them on. So what have we got there? There's a load of X's in, in that, around there. So if I find some X's, and I'll put a few X's on so you can see it sticking to the doodah. How does that sound? And I'm going to my nice box, get my little tray. Get my little tray, get my little pen. I think I've got enough gum in it. Or wax. Right. So there was a big crease there. And above where them X's are. And can you see it's just sticking? See? Nothing. It's just sticking straight down. So chuffed that it works. Excuse my placing, isn't it brilliant? And some... So look at that. So I'm off again that I can put some more of the little drillies. I 
know it's taken me forever to finish this one, isn't it? Yeah, but I hope that showed you that anybody can have a go at repairing the creases and the wrinkles and the dips and the doodars in it. You know, you don't feel so bad if you think, if you do make a mess of it like I did, of rolling it up, that you can do something about it and you can repair them. Which I think is great. Because I was upset when I unrolled it. Because it's for hubby. And I must admit I'm overjoyed. Absolutely overjoyed with the way it's turned out. Especially since I know that it was all... That all the canvas up above was, had loads and loads of creases and rivers or whatever they're called. Are they creases and then rivers if they're bigger with a pool in them? I don't know. But you saw some different variations there. And the thing is, if you do scrape some of the glue off, don't panic. Just get some clear nail varnish. Put it on just before you're ready to put the drill on. Put your drill on. That will stick it. I've also used, because um, they're the only two things I have used, I have used this. UHU stick which you get in a pound shop here and I think it's a pound for a big one like that and they stick really well with that as well I've not tried any other brands so I don't know but I think uh, it's hit, hit and miss just go out and try it if you you know because my view is I try things because I think if, I, if it doesn't work I haven't lost anything because you know it only can make the canvas better can't it Make your drill stop slipping and sliding or sticking or whatever you need to do. Or have I confused you now? But no, if they don't stick, yeah, don't worry. Just have a go. Try any of your glues that you've got in the cupboard. Try nail, clear nail varnish. But just remember what dries quickly. You know, because... Uh, when I did the first nail varnish one, I wasn't quick enough and it dried before I got me, me drill out. So I did it again and I'd be drill ready and then it was fine. So I suppose it's how quick you, the old nail varnish dries as well. Plus I used that UHT one and that was, uh, <clears throat> it took a little bit to dry, a little bit longer to dry. But um, there's a hole in one. But yeah, so I hope that's helped somebody, you know. I just thought I'd give you a little demonstration of how I fix it. And as I say, it's smooth as anything. You can hear it. Oh, I've got some a bit of dirt on there. See, I've got a bit of dirt or something on there. That's kind of, so I'm just going to... Can you see it? So I'm just scraping it very lightly with my pen that I had off Rachel. I have a look for some tweezers. Are these tweezers going to be able to pick it up? Oh, that's good tweezers. Look, I've not used these before. Can you see them? They don't, not don't meet in the middle, and they're not level. Oh, I don't need tweezers that actually work in here. I'll chuck some in and try them. No, they don't meet in the middle. Try that. Benton. There we go. See? Not panic, just scrape it off. I wonder where I got that from. It's like an orangey colour. I must have put something on you. Hmm. Could do with long nails. I had long nails. It'd be easy, wouldn't it? Excuse my voice coming and going, it's still not 100%. Come on, you little monkey. I can see you. And I'm pulling the fibre. Got it? And it's still sticky. And I've got some down there as well. And you can always use a damp, wet wipe or, a, or something similar to that, or a face wipe. You just damp it. 
you can run it out and don't rub it off but don't if you do it lightly but don't worry if it's not, it feels not sticky the sticky I don't know how it does it but it comes back so although you can still see where the rivers and, and creases were they as I say they've gone so yeah so I'm gonna love you and leave you take care look after each other thanks ever so much <clears throat> for subscribing it does mean a lot and for taking the time to actually watch my videos you know me and the girls appreciate it because uh, you know they're doing these canvases so they quite like the fact that they're on their bits and pieces I show as well um, so yeah Pre apparently if you press the bell little bell sign that will notify you every time I put up a new video um, and I go live on a Sunday night if you want to come over and have a chat with me you're more than welcome but until then take care speak to you all soon and bye for now